Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the Bad 300 and welcome. And as you can see on the screen, we have Stranded Deep. We are currently at 0.03.81. Now if you just got done reading the story I wrote, well, the thing is, is they just updated this as I was writing the story, so I don't have the H1 tag there, but that's okay. Let's look at our options on here, which is something I didn't go into in this, you know, when I write the review. That's why I do the, or that's why I want to do an actual overview of the game video to go along with it. You know, I'm no, uh, oh, that crazy Aussie guy that does the, um, the rights for the, uh, escapist. Yeah, I'm not him. I'm not, uh, uh, Croshaw. I'm not quite as fair what it is him, but, uh, you do have a few options here. Yeah, uh, you can have item names on the HUD, crafting highlights, crosshairs, temperatures, and apparently language is coming soon. Graphics, uh, fixed frame rate of course 60. Because, well, you really don't need a frame rate any higher than 60. Well, I got my V-Sync off. You know, you got V-Sync, full screen, field of view, draw distance, on your texture quality and anti-lacing and, you know, of course, you can adjust your master volume and your background volume. And then you got your input controls. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, you know, they got a fair amount of uh, options built in for being as early as this game is. It's got a lot more than most. Uh, we're not going to go to new game. We're going to go to continue. And we're going to let this load up here. It didn't take too long to load. It's uh, not that bad a loading time. And there we go. And as you see, I'm holding an X. You have cooked crab. That's dinner. Let's uh, look at Beepy. What is Beepy? Beepy here is your watch. If you click your mouse button, see right now I'm a little hungry. So, let's go tab and get an open hand. Let's uh, hit E on this crab. Now, let's hit F again. And look, now we're full on hunger. Now, you are able to upgrade to a fire spit, which allows you to cook crabs and potatoes and fish and also boil seawater, a bucket of seawater, that is, to get that. Uh, some of the stuff you can collect is palm fronds lashing sticks and rocks and of course coconuts to which coconuts have a double use first off they they start off as green you take your axe here you go one two three then you turn to coconut you hit it one more time it becomes drinkable you hit it a couple more times and it becomes a regular old uh, like these right here coconut halves you have dairy cans and then you have fuel tanks uh, morphine you have bandages duct tape of course uh, those are I know you can't see antibiotics because you get different illnesses uh, to get you know you cut down trees and you cut the trunks so there is a fair bit of crafting in this game. And it is a heavy component of it to survive. But there's a few more components. Let's go ahead and... Now we have four sticks. You can go around and collect random rocks up. Of course, this island's empty. Uh, one of the things you look for are these right here. These are yucca plants. Of course, these have been harvested and you can't uh, use them until they get full on up. 
and apparently I forgot to shut Facebook off so I don't know if you get to hear that ding but this right here is a crab hole as you can see there is actually a crab hiding in it but they will stay in here and this is a wrap with the motor now if you okay oh, let's go E and matter of fact let's go ahead because I'm going to need some drink E E E now on your inventory here you can hold up to four items in a slot as you see I have three lighters now that tool is currently invincible but this one is not just as this is invincible and if I'm not mistaken and we had uh, there's that raft. let's see let's see west yes let's try heading due west of here shall we now believe it or not this is I've been playing the game for a little bit and this was actually the first motorized giraffe because this was the first time I was able to actually find everything because they would update and I would have to uh, restart the game. Let's go ahead and get a paddle just in case we need it. Uh, run over here and we will grab the paddle off of our boat. Okay, if you hold down the shift key, that does give you the ability to run and jump. Okay, now the morphine here, that cures broken bones. Which you can get from falling. Or... Okay, first time driving a raft. And we have a shark buddy over there. Okay, let's head due west. I do believe that's the island in front of me which is a good portion of what you spend doing in this game is running from island to island there we go we just entered a deep sea region and hopefully I hit the island that I want did you see that little ocean spray there that is a shark if you look right there that is the mast of a boat now you say how do you get used to going between island to island if you don't have a compass well there is something that can help you there is a mod out there well not really a mod because it's not actually part of the game but there is a map that you can <clears throat> add on as an outside force I will uh, Put a picture of it up here somewhere and uh, let you guys see that. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. See right there, is another wreck. This place is dotted with them. And yep, I do believe I am headed in the right direction. There's a wreck. Now the game does get a little glitchy with your position. Ah, here it is. This is what I wanted to show you as part of this review. This is something that is newly added to, although this map isn't new, so these are, and the map I'm on, are still a little too frequent. But you will find these, and this one actually only has two. And I've seen these with up to three to four let's go ahead and kill the boat motor and then whoa 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 
Come on, let's go this way. Uh, they just had to do a hot fix. That's why it's H1. Because... The... Yellow raft... Would act... Funny... Around these. Okay. And what are these? Well, to me, they are old, abandoned. I am guess I would say drilling or oil rigs. You know, with the fact that you have these large pipes. And this is one of the things I would, if you read my thing, I would like to see being able to interact with is being able to drag these and place them back over these holes uh, these shelving here I would love to see them move and of course these things are just loaded with items and if you shift sprint jump you can just clear that gap uh, you can add on to these of course, as you see, they have ample jerry cans. Most of them have a couple jerry cans each. And you are supposed to be able to, if you bring this stuff with you, you are able to add foundations onto this. Now, see, this one looked just like the other one. and But there is no steps. And as you see, we're back around, so it's, they always go in a circle. And as you see, there is ample rooms, toolboxes. See what's in there. There's a hammer. Always handy to have a hammer. Compass. Uh, there's another hammer. If you find one of these, you're usually pretty set there I found two of these and uh, two different maps I've played I've been able to find one of these fairly easy this map I actually found two uh, let's see did they get this fixed okay that's supposed to go in your inventory and then aha see they got that fixed now to where you push R and you are holding a flashlight as if you duct taped a flashlight onto you so a flashlight or torch no longer takes up a space in your hot bar which it would kind of be nice if the compass was that way because the compass is something you could you know technically hang around tie a string to it hang around your neck <clears throat> But as you see, these places are loaded. Um, I have actually found quite a few bandages in these, but you've got to really be looking for them. Because a lot of times they will be hidden, uh, like behind one of these doors, on the floor in this mess of uh, litter. And being that they're white, they can be hard to spot. Now, see this one here. This, uh, even though it's only a three, would be a perfect one to set up base in. Eesh, I didn't think I was going to make that. Just because of its actual proximity to an island. Um... Let's go ahead and see there's so much of this we have yet to explore. Here's another console of buckets galore. Another flashlight. It's usually in this room in like the corner you'll find. Right there's a machete, a compass. See it'd be so great to be able to drag these shelves out of here. Or drag other shelves into here. Uh, find a cutting torch and cut door panels away. Yep. And voila. See there is bandages. 
how many of these games I have lost because I was bitten by a shark and not able to find bandages. And you can, like I said, you can build campfires out here. You're supposed to be able to. That is something that these stairs, rails here, you can get caught on. And it can cause you to fall. Which can cause you to break a limb. Or get hurt. Okay, we've been to that one. Let's, uh... At least I think we've been to that one. Yeah, let's go over here. Now, this one's smaller, so it's... Come on. There we go. Ooh, that was a little glitchy. Okay, it's getting to become night so let's hit R now I do not know if these flashlights will wear out now because before you would pick up another flashlight and it would just keep adding it and adding it and adding it uh, like you had the possibility of wearing out now if these are definitely not safe there's a lighter to walk around in without light and here's something that I thought was cool if you hold down the button to activate the lighter it stays lit and as you can see these are just all filled with uh, just filled with all kinds of goodies you gotta love this part of the game uh, need to bring some uh, stuff out here for bunks and sometimes yes I come out to the top because some of these actually have loot boxes on the top of them but this one is actually a small one which it's good to see that they range in size from three and four um, and I know they have structures like this that do exist in the real world I Oh, look at that. you got a potato plant growing here. How nice is that? Too bad there wasn't a yucca vine in a, or a tree. That would be something that will be nice to see. Possibly in the future is the ability to uh, transplant trees. Maybe make an artificial beach out of shovel to where you can actually dig up sand. And you can actually build you an artificial... Uh, Artificial, artificial uh, island, and uh, I don't have any of the Easter eggs to show you because, well, we left it on the other island. But there is a fed. I know of three Easter eggs so far that I have found. Well, one I've found, and two I've heard of and/or seen in videos, and that is there's a UFO that's under the water. So if you do a lot of diving. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay, that was a little glitchiness. Oh wow, my boat motor has reverse. Let's go here and yeah, we need to head east. Hi Mr. Sharky. Now I do know around this island there be a whale that lives here. And I watched him glitch through the island. I've also seen a shark glitch through an island which is quite interesting but as I said there is plenty to explore they uh, I see that they are constantly adding new styles of islands 
and I am waiting with anticipation to see what the next big update will bring but as long as you follow your compass and it looks like there's something written in there and you just can't read it but something I would really love to see is clues that because there's a dive slate there's the box that you're uh, the FedEx box and there's also a UFO it would be kind of cool if some of these Easter eggs actually gave you clues how to find the next Easter egg. Uh, I don't know if that could be a possibility or they give you a hint on what you need to do to actually beat the game because there is no actual other than surviving there is no actual uh, challenge there is a couple Easter eggs from um, or not Easter eggs I'm being silly there's a couple of uh, I don't know what you call them they're challenges for uh, steam awards that you get but uh, I don't know if they got those fixed to where they actually uh, update when you do them or not. Okay, we're going to continue due east. I don't remember exactly where this is, but I think if we head due east, we may find the other one. Because we just passed our island. Okay, let's look around. Because I didn't have a compass, of course, the first time I found this one. And I don't have my map up right now that I can alt tab out to. So I'm not exactly sure where it is. Anytime you clip into a uh, new plane, it's good to look around because something may come into view that wasn't in view before. But overall, I rate that this game is worth the current price. Uh, it would actually be closer up to the $20 games here you know under not an update or two uh oh did we that was strange we clipped into a new thing and it killed the boat motor That was weird, but we're supposed to be heading towards that island there, buddy. There we go. Sometimes it's hard to concentrate and do this all at once. But this is how you spend a good bit of the game is running back and forth between islands and this is another one of those double islands and since it's probably one I haven't discovered yet we'll see what uh, we'll do a before and after map well we'll see uh, see that was nice moonlight it's funny how you can see the islands off in the distance, but you can't see anything else. And being that we haven't had to Okay. Let me hold on the boat motor to and it's getting near daytime, so we're gonna hit R. 
and you see here rocks and sticks that are just laying on the ground and look at this hey what do you know a mysterious package and you can pick it up and hold it in your inventory uh heck if I had a little better monitor I could probably read that or if I increase the uh, graphics to a better quality I probably could <laughs> but that's the game in a nutshell you build huts you s survive and thrive uh, everything else I think I pretty much covered in the written story so go ahead and check that out and I hope you guys have fun playing this game and just remember you can get stuck inside of these so be very careful uh, see here's a yucca plant that's where you get your rope from alright hope you enjoyed this review catch you on the flip side bye bye